This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hi guys, I'm here with the video showing you guys how I made my augmented sombra gun. And if you want the templates, they're available on my store Envy. If you want to just like skip the step of having to draw up your own templates, which I've already done by this point and I'm currently tracing out all of the different pieces on foam. The white foam is 6 millimeter foam. The black or like grayish foam that you'll see later is 8 millimeter foam. And then the brown foam that you again will see later is four or three millimeter foam. I can't remember which one exactly it is. And then the red foam again, which you will see later. And the thinner black foam, which you will see later. Both of those are two millimeter. So all I'm doing is taking these patterns, tracing them out onto the various foam pieces. I'm focusing on just tracing out the foam pieces that are going to be thicker or like the main sections of the gun first and then cutting all of those out. The thinner foam I use for smaller details that I just I cut out later because I don't need them right away. So here I'm taking a Dremel and sanding down the textured side of this piece of the gun, which is like the main piece of the gun, and that's because I have to glue it to another copy of the main piece of the gun. I took two 8mm foam pieces and glued those together to create the main section of the gun because I wanted it to be that thickness and I didn't want to have to try to make it out of insulation foam simply because EVA foam is easier to work with. I actually wanted to double up the thickness for quite a few pieces and some pieces needed to be that like were going to be level with the, the main base of the gun such as this back piece and the piece that you just saw which was the little like I think it's supposed to be where the ammo goes but don't quote me on that. Before gluing any of those pieces down, I went ahead and just took a Dremel around all of the edges, especially the edges that would become more tricky to sand down once stuff was glued together.
So that was just me gluing together some more layers of stuff simply because this is the thickness that I wanted to go for. I wanted to make sure the gun didn't look like too thin and flat and had some, you know, dimension to it. And now I'm just cutting out a square through this through the gun because this is going to be where like the light up part of her gun sits and I needed that to well have space for a light and be clear and see through. And then we're back to Dremeline. Sorry this is a little all over the place. I was trying to get this done for a convention I didn't end up getting it done for and just kind of working on different things and switching what I'm working on often enough kind of keeps it interesting and helps me stay focused on crafting. I'm not going to talk much about this piece because I did it backwards at first, so you will see me redo that later. Anyways, moving on. I'm now working on creating like little tunnels where the wire and lightings are going to go. So I'm just carving that out using an X-Acto knife, knife as well as drawing all of it, like, you know, where I need everything to go, making sure that it's going to be hidden under a top layer so that there's no like random hole in wire showing through, like in any gaps where the base part of the gun shows through, which I don't really think there ended up being any anyways. But yeah, this is just tunnels that I'm creating for lighting, which I'll show you how I did the lighting, or kind of, in a second. But before I get to that part, if you do want to know how to do lighting or like learn how to do lighting, I definitely recommend Kamui's cosplay books because her lighting book is like lighting for dummies and that is how I learned. And it's like a $5 ebook, so just get that and le you'll learn like... It makes it so easy. I'm creating some of the thinner layers out of the thinner two millimeter foam. That is what this black foam that you see here is. And this is for layers like, like this part on her ammo gun that you can see me drawing out as well as like the layer that goes around the trigger part of her gun. Just like some of the things that need to be thinner and not super bulky, I'm using the two millimeter foam for. I'm also gluing on a couple small pieces here, just like some of the, yeah, smaller pieces, smaller layers, including like the thing about around the trigger that I had just mentioned, the little layer around the trigger, but only to one side because it was going to interfere with lighting on the other side. I'm not sure why I decided to glue on stuff now in the middle of working on like lighting and stuff. I'm pretty sure it goes back to that thing of just needing to work on something different for a little bit because working on the same piece for so long was getting boring. And this is me sandwiching together the layers for the very back piece of her gun and dremeling those down as well.
So now I'm finally putting together the lighting. I have it all laid out, have it all figured out like mathematically, making sure that everything's going to light up, all that's figured out. I'm just soldering it together in these clips. Again, if you want to learn how to do lighting, I recommend Kamui's cosplay books. That is way better than anything I could, or any way I could explain to you guys. Trust me, it's worth the $5 if you're wanting to learn lighting. I've glued the lighting into place and to create that transparent pink part of her gun, I used a transparent pink folder or divider for folders and glued that down. So now I'm just gluing the layers that go on top of those dividers, like these big white layers that are like the second main section of her gun. That's what I'm going to refer to them as. And then I'm just gluing on the small layers and other layers that go around it as well because now it's mostly gluing everything into place at this point. I can't remember what my plan for this piece was originally, but I eventually decided it would be easier just to cut this entire strip out where it needed to be like clear and transparent and light up and just have those be two separate pieces that would connect on the transparent folder, like that's what would keep them together, and then add the black thinner foam on top of that to, you know, have something I can paint on. because. Painting on the clear transparent folders will like chip off and everything, paint doesn't really stick to those. So I needed another layer on top of that so that I can paint it and make it the right color later. So yeah, I just cut up those pieces, took the pieces that I was going to keep using, which were the pieces that didn't need, you know, the streak of light through it, sanded down the inside that I had just like, you know, where I had just cut because that was all rough and ugly looking 
and then glued that onto a transparent folder, cut off the excess, and then added the two top layers of the black thin foam on top. I also rigged the lighting through before gluing on the pink folders and everything. Gotta make that clear. Add that before you glue on the rest of the stuff. gluing stuff onto the gun. This is when I'm redoing that part because originally I did it upside down and that wasn't right, which is why I didn't really want to talk about this section first because I messed up. But then I went through and I cut out that entire piece because it was just so messed up and there was bars and like solid pieces where it was supposed to be transparent and it was awful. So I redid that, recut out all the pieces, glued those pieces onto the clear transparent folder thing that I needed to have there, and then glued it on correctly to the gun and cut off the excess of the, the transparent folder because it was a bit longer than it needed to be at first. Here is the slightly thicker, thinner foam. I think it's about three or four millimeters. It's the brown foam that I'm talking about. I use those for some layers that I wanted to be slightly thicker than two millimeters, but not as thick as the white pieces. So that's where these come into play. I use those for the pieces that you can see here, and that's pretty much it. And so those pieces are the thing that goes around the little nozzle thing that's in the front. I don't know what to call these gun pieces. I'm not a gun person. And then for the layer on the pieces that will go on the little notch on the bottom back of her gun, which is also where this piece belongs, that you'll see in a little bit what I'm talking about. But there's a little notch at the back of her gun, and that's where it glues into place at. And the brown foam was also used for these little flaps that she has towards the front of her gun. This is the little notch piece that I was talking about and the notch that it goes into. Obviously, as you can see here, I cut down that white piece a lot. It was way too big at first, so I had to resize it and make it smaller. And now I'm just trimming the little flaps down as well because those were also a little bit bigger than I wanted them to be. I went ahead and sanded things down again just to make sure everything was staying smooth and even with it like other pieces. And then I went ahead and glued the pieces that I just worked on into place. Now I'm taking the red 2mm foam, and the foam color obviously doesn't matter. This is just the 2mm foam color that I had, and I'm gluing that into place at the front of the gun. This is the section that I'm currently working on here, as well as creating a rectangle to go along the top of the gun where she has these little rivets. And you can see the finished little indented piece on the table there, and I just took a thin Dremel head and dremeled 
just kind of randomly. I didn't really measure it out. I just eyeballed it. The little indents that I needed into place and then glued that onto the top of the gun. And I'm also just creating a rectangle. Again, I'm just eyeballing all this, kind of holding it up to the gun and drawing out what I think looks like a good shape or the right shape and cutting that out and then dremeling it. This is how I created the notch for the other piece, by the way, just like I did right there for this front piece. And then I'm also taking the red foam again and using that to just kind of even out this piece that ended up like sitting higher than I had cut the base of the gun to sit. So I needed to add another slab of foam in there and then sand that down to make sure that it was even and would blend in later. Again, the rest of this is just pretty much gluing in all of the pieces into place. Right here I'm gluing in the part that's going to be like the bottom part of the gun. Like this, this little thing that goes below the handle. It's just like a small detail. And then gluing in more foam to even that out because again it ended up sitting a bit lower than it was originally going to sit. I also decided to change my mind halfway through and have the battery pack accessible by opening one of the coverings on the handles, the little white piece, rather than from the bottom. And I decided to just glue the little ammo case directly onto the gun. So I could have had it one whole piece to start with. My original plan was to have the little ammo case thing be removed and then me access the battery pack that way and then slide it back into place. And I decided I wanted something a bit more simpler <laughs> instead. So this is what I get for changing my plans. I have to add in new foam pieces that originally weren't needed had I stuck to my original plan. To get the wires through, by the way, because I did just glue that, that foam piece in where the battery pack was, I just kind of soldered a hole through that and then stuck the wires that I was originally going to have connect to the battery through that and then connected it to the battery wires that you can see poking out there. I have little tiny connectors. I don't remember what they're called. They are in Kamui's cosplay book though, what they're mentioned at least. And I, I use those to connect the pieces. So, that, you know, it could have been taken apart at one point, but then I just glued it on instead. Finally, one of the last things to finish up the gun, I used a soldering iron and soldered in the small details that I had drawn on there were like, they're supposed to be bolts or indents etc etc on the gun, soldered those in, and then I just took some rectangular shapes of different thicknesses of craft foam to create the nozzles and glued those into place. And it was ready for painting, which will be in my next video. So stick around for that. I hope you guys found this helpful. Sorry it was a bit all over the place, and thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye!